Good afternoon. Oh, great. <laughs> My name is Tom Stevenson, and I'm the provost at Swarthmore and a faculty member in the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. On behalf of the faculty and the rest of the instructional staff, I'm pleased to welcome all of our visitors and invited guests to this magnificent occasion. The inauguration of a new president is a time to acknowledge all that the past has brought forth, as well as our hopes and aspirations for the future. The speakers that we'll hear from today, representing the voices of faculty, students, staff, alumni, the borough of Swarthmore, and other institutions of higher education, all provide a critical context, not just for our past, but also for our hopes and dreams for the future. It is fitting, therefore, that the theme of this weekend's events, changing lives, changing the world, represents a fundamentally dynamic expression, one that incorporates past, present, and future. Now, I'm sometimes asked by members of our community, board members, students, staff, my colleagues in the administration, my neighbors in the borough even, what do the faculty think about a particularly critical, usually divisive issue facing the college? Now, regardless of the content of the question, this is without a doubt the least favorite conversation that I face in my position as provost because it presupposes a unified, monolithic view arising from a group of 200 or so diverse, free-thinking individuals arrayed in age from their 20s to their 70s with intellectual interests that fit into 22 departments and 10 interdisciplinary programs. Why would we be expected to have a single view on any topic? But I actually think there are two areas that unite all of our faculty, and those bring us back to our presence here today. First of all, we all share a commitment to changing lives, and through the lives of our students, changing the world. That was true in the past, it is true today, and I trust it will be true in the future. But let me suggest another way in which I think the faculty voice is united in this pivotal time and place in our history. We're lucky to have a president like Valerie Smith. I sense that excitement on that snowy afternoon in February when Val was, was first introduced to the college community. Beyond the administrative skills that surely impressed the members of the Presidential Search Committee, Val has a long and distinguished scholarly record at Princeton and UCLA as the author of three monographs, several edited volumes, and over 35 articles and essays. Her work in African-American literature is firmly centered in the liberal arts tradition of scholarship, a fact that has never been more important to articulating our institutional identity at a time of continued national restlessness about the relevance of the broad, critical thinking-based education in the arts, humanities, social sciences, natural sciences, and engineering that Swarthmore offers. And with her in-depth understanding of the liberal arts setting as an alumna and a trustee of Bates College, in Val we have the effective champion that we need to make the case for the teacher-scholar model as an essential element of how we best educate for the 21st century. Val has commented to me and to others on the warmth of the welcome that she has felt since her arrival on campus in midsummer. Correspondingly, I've heard from many faculty who have been lucky enough to meet with her one-on-one -on -one or in small groups of her warmth and accessibility. I would add from my own experience a sense of her deep and abiding curiosity about Swarthmore and our traditions, and frankly, a willingness to question the ill-formed or poorly articulated justification and to occasionally play the devil's advocate but always from a position of respect and attempting to reach a deeper understanding. These essential relational qualities will be critical in the months and years ahead as we forge a broader consensus around priorities such as access and affordability, academic programs, facilities, compensation, and student life. So, welcome Val. 
The faculty and the rest of the instructional staff stand ready to work with you as we change lives together. Your career has been shaped by values that resonate with those of our faculty, and we all look forward to what I believe can be our best days ahead. Thank you.